for HG to get that win, like, mm-hmm. required some late, late, late shit to happen for them. Like, they needed a 90 plus 4 from Trigger, of all players, yeah. to get that win over. Now, the question is, can HG repeat something like that? And is XCG prepared for stuff like that now that the match actually matters, quote-unquote, a lot more? Uh, excuse me. Sorry. It'll uh, it'll be interesting, mostly because um, XCG looked really great versus uh, GFG. Blew them out of the water, I'd say. And then uh, ASG had to fight to uh, get past LZG. But again, LZG, a team that has won the uh, the league and is n- notoriously tough autopilot. So, uh... Well, they've got a red Belka today. <laughs> yes! So we'll see if that hurts them or harms them, because red strikers, sometimes they're great and sometimes they're not. <laughs> Looks like some good conditions to me. Yeah. On the other side, they've got some green for their medals for XEG, but they got a red big sky and some more red on their bench. Both have red on their bench. Like, these are pretty good yeah. conditions. Exalt and Nugget and the Tomboy not feeling it right now. No Tomboy for you. Nope. Uh, okay, HG, start feeding me some instructions. I did get some pre-match stuff from XCG I can do. Okay, let's do XCG first. Sub in the best. Wingers. So Valen out for Advent Burgers. Loss out for Don't Go to Newfoundland. Just don't. Trust me. It's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't go. Don't go. <laughs> Sub in the best. Right and left CB. So Elders can come out. Let's see who's got left. I should note that um, since we're on the final day. Yes. Uh, and we are down to, uh, let's do the math. Let's do, let's do some math. Uh, yes. So I'm not <clears throat> we no, are sure. down to eight teams. That's correct. Yes, eight teams. HG's best finish ever is eighth. Um, that's, yeah, and uh, it, correct me. I'm pretty sure, though, that that eighth finish was because of losing to XCG. Let's go take a look. I'm pretty sure that's what the this is. This is like a bit of a meme match beyond the fact that it's a rematch from Friday. Like as was that's said on, as was said on Friday, Ace G's, uh, you could say their nosedive for four mm. years started with a five nil loss to XCG in the VGL six quarterfinals. Yes, that's correct. Six, yeah. uh, a five nil loss. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, HG got their their revenge, but now it's like this is a clean slate. You could say this uh, twisted game has been reset. <laughs> and now, can HG overcome XCG in the same basic situation they were in four years ago? Or is XCG going to cause, well, yeah. not guarantee another curse, but could lead to one? I mean, XCG, <laughs> while they have um, done well in the past... They um, their best result was second place in six and seven, and they have uh, yet to uh, replicate or beat that um, since then. So. Mm, that's true, and they died bef- uh, for a little while at least. Got absorbed into Sipper XG, uh, which is still <laughs> the husk is yeah. still there for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, XCOM kind of, uh, I guess. Um, you know, kind of yeah, yeah. All right. ebbs and flows. Some subs for uh, HG. XCG should be good for uh, their pre-match. Tomboy coming out for the duty officer. Yellow 13 coming in straight away. And Mobius 1 coming out for salvation. <laughs> wow. Deliverance. Pretty good, pre- uh, pretty good can... Conditions all around. Mihail is not feeling it as much. We'll see if that affects things. I imagine it will, especially in the latter stages of the match, but uh, early on, probably not as much. Stonehenge also starting for Ace G today instead of Sky Eye. We'll see if the. Uh... Yeah. What the fuck does that thing count as? Is it like a Gauss? Is it a railgun? Looks like a railgun to me. 
Well, it's from... It's an anti-meteor, or a com... Or, yeah, meteor, meteorite, whatever it is. Gun. Yeah. <laughs> it's a rail gun. Thank you. Yeah. It's a big fucking rail gun. It's a huge rail gun, meant to keep the world from ending. <laughs> Which it pretty much sort of did, more or less. I mean, shame about the one continent, but still. <laughs> That led what to can a, you do? That led to a lot of other <laughs> Ace Combat games, but, you know, it's fine. Uh, I think that's good. That's all he said were subs. Is there anything else for you, Ace G? Yeah, Ruji doesn't matter. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Should be all good. All right. Uh, nothing about kits from either team. Um, XCG Manager did say he would be maybe late. But did give me those pre-match instructions before. So That's good. We'll see if he pops in, or he should pop in, hopefully. Well, I believe they have two managers. So. Oh well, it's it's been the one doing live mm. managing at least. Uh, I just got to get the music, and we'll be ready to go. XCG and ACG. Oh, um, shit. They actually have that. They had a special thing for uh, uh, ASG on Friday. Actually, XCG had a, like a special. So I guess I'll play that. I'll use that instead for Based. this match. Yeah. Not sure how different. I think it was a different anthem. Maybe no, no. It was a. Uh... Actually, I'm not sure what was different about it. Mutan lips was red. Well, okay. I'm glad you stepped in. Yes, he's red, but he's also right-footed. Do you want? A left, uh, a right footed ah, on the left. Good observation. Yeah, well, he said to replace the right and left CBs, and there's different footing, so usually managers are like autistic yeah. about footing on that kind of thing. No. Yeah. So, do you want Muton Lips in despite being right footed? I don't know. You never specified if you cared about footing. I can do that, absolutely, since you've stepped in and. All caps at me. <laughs> Muton lips was red. I'm gonna assume you want that, since you yelled at me about it. So feel free to correct. Well, let me yeah. even type it to you. Let's see, so you don't care about footing. Well, I'd say Muton lips uh, something to watch in case there's a. Uh... Some defensive fuckery. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. I Personally, I'm the opinion that CB footing doesn't matter. But, uh... I am of the opinion that it does matter for, like, wi uh, wide players. Hmm. And, like, maybe strikers. On what side they're supposed to be on. Well... Still no response. I'm going to assume he wanted Muton Lips in if he said he was red. I think he probably knows his players, but all right. So we're going to go. And if it's not what he wants, hopefully the red condition makes up for it, I guess. Uh, XCG versus HG, your first quarterfinal of the day. Good can off. Geeking off. Did you know, Mr. Match, check our VODs on implying.fun or youtube.com slash VGL VODs. Hey, update the game tip. Yeah, implying.fun has all of them right now. You should get the uh, stuff from this weekend eventually. Soon, TM. <laughs> <sighs> all right, here we go. Here are your anthems.
All right. Uh, XCG left to right. Ace c combat from right to left. Let's go. Let's see what the fuck happens this time. <laughs> uh, let's see. It took a little bit to get a goal, and XCG opened it up last time on Friday. Yep. So we'll see if anything differs here. Pixie and yellow 13. Wow, all right. <laughs> what was that? Russian was a little slow there. Again, yellow 13 just lets it go by, but intentionally that time, I think. Gives it to Pixie, back to yellow 13. Pixie almost... Oh, no, they lost it. Pixie uh, tried to recover that pass, but yeah. went out just to uh, Newfoundland, I believe. Just her, it's just her really poor uh, passing sequence there. Whoop. Hold on. Counter... Uh oh Oh. Woo lad, okay. Well, counter... Ta uh... Apparently, a sub for Ace G got counter target taken off. It's rigged. Uh, well, here's the thing. You should know that, and you should say to fix that. It's rigged. It's a little rigged, but I actually didn't know that happened. Or I didn't think of that. Actually. Actually. Actually, actually it's not my responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> so they got to change that to 20 or uh, concession. Torque gets the ball, 99% puts it in! Well, they'll have a chance now. Yep. A little earlier, but XCG once again puts it in first. 99% chance to hit, Target to the AMF. Yeah, well, hopefully uh, their passing will improve with a um, focused uh, target. Quick, start insulting Belka. <laughs> Belka, you fucking shits! It's time for genocide. You should have nuked yourself more, and not just at the border, just near, just the entire country. There's not a single thing of worth coming out of Belka. <laughs> Snake tits. Getting over to Advent Burger. Is looking for Bradford. Bradford can't get it. It's that was a oh desperate shot. It looks like, or a clearance. I can't tell who get uh, who took that. That was that could have been worse though. That slide by the keeper. <laughs> It was, in fact, Brad for taking a shot desperately at the side of the net, and Stonehenge will clear it. And Belka denied by Big Sky, just aggressively puts his foot out. And HG trying to do everything they can to stop this XCG passing play that they've been very excellent at this whole top, uh, cup. You know, an ocean pilot was once asked what it was like to take a human life, and he said, I wouldn't know. I've only ever killed Belkins. <laughs> burn Osha to the ground. More like burn Belka to the ground and salt the earth. Make a crater so nothing else can be built there. 
Torque trying to keep that attack alive. Mihail picks it up and gets it to the midline. Trigger popping it over looking for salvation, but he gets intercepted. Mm. Yeah, good defending there from uh, XCG on that counter. Bradford to 99% chance. Snake tits. Snake tits looking. No, it's intercepted at the last minute. Popped up into the air. Still in the box. Critical Pick defending C there. C finally clears it. Critical defending there. Trigger. Big Sky once again bullying one of the HG strikers. Newfoundland spinning around. Gets it to Bradford in the box. Hooking it over. Chopper is clearing it. And this time, Big Sky's left back a little bit. Bradford coming into pressure. Belka back heels it to Salvation. Salvation tripped up from behind. They call it as a foul. Oh. Just a little one. Little tiny short whistle. <laughs> Play nice. Maybe this will allow, maybe this will allow uh, HG to do something on offense. Yeah, this is like the first time the men this far up the pitch... JPEG Dog is going to get it over to Yellow 13. Put it way up for Trigger, but that was nowhere near him. That was horrific. Yeah. Yellow 13 not doing a good job today. Snake Tits. <laughs> Pixie bumps that, but doesn't stop the pass play. Pixie's pressuring. Driven out for a throw in. Wow. Great, great dribbling there. <laughs> and they just get it back. All right. JPEG yeah, Dog uh, with a slide that whiffs. JPEG XCG Dog with an interception uh, that whiffs. They've dominated in possession so far. They really have. This passing is just like top tier. Like, Man, that he, foul yeah. snake tits. That almost found 99% chance. Again, they're just excellent at this passing. Yeah. There's Trigger. Salvation. Salvation getting pressured by Newfoundland a little bit. Slots it through over to Trigger. Pixie to JPEG Dog. Mihai. Command Duty Officer. They're struggling to get up now. Here's Mihail. Oh. Mihail can't cross it in, but it'll be a throw in. Well, so, um, they ventured nearly into the box. So they're having they're, a hell they're of making a, progress. They're having a hell of a time getting through this defense now. And there, they just bullied off the, like... Steal that ball by Torque with a good interception. XCG so far are just dominating this game entirely. Ninety-nine percent chance to hit. Snake tits to Advent Burgers. Advent Burgers. Torque. Advent Burgers into the box. Chopper looking to pressure. Heavy command cruiser is able to clear it, but it's bumped by Snake Tits' ass. <laughs> so the attack can continue. <laughs> Yellow 13, that's going to deflect off him for a corner. Oh, no, it's... Really? All right. I thought that wow. bumped off of Yellow 13. Yeah. Goal kick. Trigger heads it down for Salvation. Salvation trying to find Trigger. Salvation recovers it, gets it to Pixie. Trigger. End of the half. No minutes of stoppage. Putting it way up for Pixie. Pixie trying to cross it in, but Trigger was too far oh. into the box. And that's it for the first half. 1-0 for XCG. And, uh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. XCG are just completely dominating oh this game. And I mean, not even like that much. I mean, two shots, one on target. That's not a, that's not a ton of offense. I mean, they, AC no. have done a good job of intercepting the ball. You know, you got, you got six interceptions there. I think mostly in the box. Yeah, Ace Combat in the box have been kind of relying on the last man, and it's worked out for them mostly. Uh, there's been the one goal, and there's been it's been pretty dicey in the box for AC. And because XCG's passing, again, has been so clean. Like, despite all the pressing HG is doing, like, they cannot stop these passes from going through. They just slot through. Yeah. And on the offense for Ace Combat, like, XCG is in turn shutting them down. Just, like, good interceptions, good tackles. Like, there's only been the one foul, and it was, like, a little one. 
for XCG. So we really got like XCG have really stepped up their game now here Indeed. for the match that matters. And uh well to give you a little hope, perhaps to dash it later, uh Ace G did need the second half to get their equalizer, so Yeah. We'll see if they can get that on this uh there, there could be some serious momentum. I mean I felt like Ace G, XG's half XG's half and they only got one goal, so you never know what could happen. Yeah, Ace G really gotta step it up here. Find at least that equalizer. And you're not going to do it with that, letting that... Wow. You got to You gotta stop letting them get in front of you guys. Because you yeah. just, like, let them aggressively stand in front of you. Wrestle with them a little. You got to fight. Fight and win. <laughs> Go fight. There's 99% chance. Looking for Torx. Stepped in at the last minute. The defender gets it away. Another great interception by HG at the last minute. Yeah, Pixie. Pixie's got the ball. Salvation. Ah, they got to change up their passing in some way because XCG are just shutting them down. That's going to go out for a throw in. All right. Oh, chance. Yeah, great right. job. Good effort. Let's do some chance. Today's my birthday. A victory sure would be nice. It would. <laughs> it would be nice, but not with pass play like that. Yeah. That was pro uh, that was pretty good, but Belka again got cut out at the last minute. Today's my birthday. A shot sure would be nice. <laughs> That's offsides. Way offsides. Yeah, uh, XCG doing a great job on on uh, Overwatch here in intercepting pretty much every offensive ball that uh, HG tries. Yeah. I can't imagine HG are just going to let this go like this. Like... There have to be a timeout at some point, because this really isn't working out for them offensively. They gotta be not. more. They gotta be more aggressive, because maybe a little quicker too, because they're just letting XCG get in the way. Just like that, <laughs> Snake Tits gets the ball. Oof. Torque. Going over to Big Sky in the center. Dog. It's hooked over to Newfoundland. Timeout. A little bit of a pause abuse there, but timeout call for Ace G. Well, that was coming. Uh, let me know when you would like to do subs too, Ace G, if not now. 70 for XCG, by the way. Okay, they're going to take off counter target. And they're going to add False Winger. So they're looking for Pixie and Mihail to kind of funnel into the center, which I think they really do need, to be honest. They need more men up there, I think. Options. Support range to five. There you go. Anything else? Subs at 70 as well for you. All right. Anything else for you? That should be it. All right. So some tweaks. Hopefully it works out for them. We got to get them. They got to get the ball first to see them, though. Meow with a nice tackle takeaway. Belka's holding it up. Looking for trigger long, but no. Another interception oh. by XCG. Snake Tits is not going to be able to reach that. Well, <laughs> there we go. It's cleared. Belka puts it down for Mihal. Mihal looking for Trigger. Trigger going back with it a little bit to Salvation. Salvation up to Belka. Salvation. Could maybe. there be an attack here? Maybe. Could there be something? Command Duty Officer headed out. We'll do subs here. All right, 
Let me know what you would like, both managers. They are looking a little better. Just a bit. Yeah. Mihal's getting in there to help with the center a little more. Trigger, I think, is hanging up a little too far, though. Uh, XCG want their left midfielder out for emergency needed. Or uh, emergency evac needed. <laughs> HG are getting yellow 13 out for Star Blaze. You sure about that? <laughs> you sure about that? I think, I think you're, you want uh, Phoenix. Yeah. Do you mean Phoenix? Because Star Blazer is a right back. Yeah, for Phoenix. There you go. And the right midfielder for uh, XCG. So Newfoundland coming out for Peter Van Dorn. And the next sub will be at 80 for XCG. They're also going to take a time out at 80. Oh, wow. Well. Do the other two subs at 75 for HG. All right. Salvation putting it down. Cannot keep the ball. That's a foul on self. Wow. Ref ball. That's just a summary of this match for uh, HG. <laughs> well, XCG are passing up here. Bradford intercepted by the dog. JPEG dog, Mihail. Command duty officer. Mihail, salvation, chopper. Command duty officer. Trying to find Mihail. Will goes back with it. Salvation hidden in the ref. JPEG dog. <laughs> Pixie. Belka. Trigger. Long shot. It's in. Off the defender. It's in. They did it again. <laughs> they scored late. <laughs> Stick with Trigger and you'll make it. Even if it's the first shot of the game. What a <laughs>
Stonehenge just barely able to shoot that or say that what on the line. Say, credit to the uh, the HG manager uh, finally getting that uh, that offense and without going plus one or plus two. Yeah. We got less than 10 minutes here, and since XCG have switched to pause, it looks like maybe they want to drag this to extra time. Be a little yeah, safe. Can AC replicate their magic from yesterday or from Friday? Mihail dies thanks to the A Lamau. Muffled foul in the distance. Just a talking to from the ref. Yeah, no card there. A Lamau getting a little indignant. <laughs> He's mad from that blunder. Oh, sorry. Ah, oh, shit. I'll get it after this, Resolves. 99% puts it down. Peter, Big Sky. Oh, actually, we're in the back, aren't we? We'll do it now. <laughs> uh, sorry, HG. What would you like to do for subs? It's rigged. A little rigged. Yeah, that was actually a little rigged. I should have stopped there. <laughs> Uh, command duty officer coming out for Star Blazer. And hold the last regular time sub. Alright. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Belka getting in the way of that, but the pass makes it to Big Sky anyway, who goes back with it to the Keeper. Uh, let's do some subs. Or some, some, some chance. Low range. Oh, man, kitty. You. <laughs> and, uh... Pixie, why'd you give that? <laughs> to him. Just pass that with a 99% chance. Oh no, Pixie. It turns out for the moment, HG is still alive. <laughs> One minute of stoppage. Here's Belka. Goes back with it. Belka gets it back from Salvation. Mihail, up the command duty officer. Command duty officer. Getting pressured by Muton Lips. Crossing it over. Looking for Belka. Belka is off sides. Off sides. Off sides. Oh, no. They almost did it again. They almost did it again, but denied. Off sides. Belka, you fucking shit. I swear. Oh, he was the. Until I have genocide every Belkan. Oh, my God. Just. That sub will come on. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that's the end of regular time and we're going to extra. Yep, there we go. Extra dime. One all. Can't repeat oh the magic God. thanks to an offsides. Wow. We've got 30 minutes left to play. Yeah. I have to say, um, you know, God. XCG have to be disappointed i think so far they just haven't gotten enough i mean they had a really good chance they got saved but given how dominant they've been in, in portions of this match they have to be disappointed with getting into extra time they should have gotten more chances on goal uh yes with the way they've been how clean their passes have been and how good their defense has been you would mm -hmm. think xcg would be a lot more up than they are yeah but yeah, I, think I mean, I mean just, just shots just testing the that keeper of yeah. HG. I mean, he's only made one save. It really has been a scrappy kind of game for Ace Combat. Like, it's mm -hmm. been their last man defending, denying that pass right when they need yeah. to. This could have been 2-1 if uh, yeah. Stonehenge didn't step in there with that one save they've got. Yeah. Alright, uh, no calls yet for any subs. So I'm going to assume you both are good to go into extra time. Please let me know. Keep in mind, you do have an extra sub. You do. Both these teams have two subs left. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Can Ace Combat last into extra time? Can XCG last into extra time? Uh, well, uh, Ace Combat have done it before. So. They have, yes. Their wingers are dying, uh, of course, as, as are XCG's, uh, what are those, AMFs? CMS. Yeah. As, uh, as I said, as I said at the start, um, you know, that would only come into play uh, near the end of the game, and now we're in the extra time, and it'll absolutely come into play. 
XCG want a stamina check at 97. All right. And HG say nothing for now. So we're going to go into extra time. Let's open with some chance. Today's my birthday. A victory sure would be nice. Yes, we know. <laughs> well, you got a goal. So uh, <laughs> I think uh, I'll take that. Yeah, you did get the shot. Happy birthday. <laughs> yeah. Uh, trying to find Trigger, but Trigger ran up. Mm. And the other player was too far back, so easy interception. Yeah. XCG here out on the wing. Emergency evac going way out to Bradford in the middle. Out to the other wing. Peter Van Dorn. 99% chance to hit. Phoenix couldn't disrupt that. 99% chance to hit. Driven to the corner. Over to Dorn. Dorn. Snake. Tit saved. Oh, another great save. And Mihail will clear it. Belka gets that pass to trigger before dying. <laughs> Oh, we're at the midline and at 90, uh, past 97. So here's your stamina check. We've got one AMF dead for XG, and we've got uh, two midfielders dead for HG. Actually, three, because Big Sky's not feeling it either. Although they're not a oh. metal. The DMF. All right, makes sense. Big Sky did a good job, so that field with no Viper GF will come in. Uh, is that it for you, XCG? That's all for XCG. HG didn't say anything, so on we go. Muffled Ayla Mao puts that out so the sub will come on. Good timing. <laughs> Fucking this model. <laughs> <laughs> Pixie puts it down. Doran steals it away. And now for another throw in. Wow. A summary of HG's offense for most of this match. <laughs> Phoenix gets it to Salvation. Salvation looking for Phoenix. Crossing it over. Looking for Trigger. That's XCOM, baby. He'll head it out for yet another throw-in. <laughs> another throw-in begins. Oh, man. I sure do love throw-ins. Pixie just sworn by three players. Muffled de Lamal gives it to the keeper to clear. No more throw-ins. Wow. 99%. Tremendous offense. There. Yeah. Like I said, XCG, XCG's defense has just been good. And I think HG needs a little more. S I'm not. They need a little more support with each other up front, because you, the trigger and so forth, have been just left alone around three like XCG defenders. And we're already at halftime. We're at halftime. We got 15 minutes left after this. Another save for Stonehenge and another shot for XCG. Uh, at interval. Funny way to put that, but all right. Swap to wide offense. All right, there you go. XCG, would you like to take your last sub? And HG, you still have your two subs. Pixie, Mihail, and JPEG Dog are all medals. You do have Salvation there, who could use some. A sub, if you so desire. Do Salvation for Mobius 1. All right. Both holding on to your last subs. XCG say that's all. And no one else is tired for them so that they can sub, so HG say they're good. On to the second half. And let's do a final set of chance. Close range. One million lives gone. Picture it. Salvation. Salvation. <laughs> Salvation! He just got subbed off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Guess he got into the booth <laughs> after coming <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah. That's out for a throw in. Emergency evac needed. Deep chopper. Mihail lets that go out for a throw in. I sure do love throw ins, QD. Yeah. Another throw-in begins. At least Bradford took that one quick. Mobius one getting that ball away. Gets it over to Trigger, who just lets that XCOM baby bully him. 
Mobius one again with a good interception. Trigger, trigger, gets it to Belka. Barely, oh. but he gets it. There's some space here. Oh, Mihail, Mihail, yeah. over to Trigger. Can't get the header off. Should have just taken oh. the shot, Mihail. Yeah. Come on. Phoenix will he get the ball. Trying to so get around Dorn. Mobius so one. Much space there for once. Phoenix crossing it. Trigger heads it wide. Oh. Trigger, you shits! <laughs> Belka walking into lightning reflexes. Right there at the end. Bonk. They really want Trigger to score. I understand. <laughs> that is part of the meme. <laughs> yeah. But come on, guys. XCG getting it over to emergency. Evac needed. Going on a run. Starblazer pressing. It's in the way of that pass a little bit, but still finds snake tits. Evac looking for 99% into the net off the post. Oh, what a killer. And XCG find a second, and it's not looking for good for Ace Combat. That's a brace. 2-1. Understandably, a timeout called by Ace G. Yep. You gotta, you gotta pour everything you got into attack here. They want JPEG Dog on defensive, and they want to go plus two. Anything else for you, Ace Combat? Should be all. All right. There you go. Plus two, Ace Combat. Really going for it now. They Let's have see. to. Dodges that. Looking for trigger. Intercepted easy. They got to get this ball back. Oh, there's a foul. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a dive. It hit him on the other foot. He clipped him with the foot he wasn't tackling with. His back foot. <laughs> Snake puts puts it down to Tark. Emergency evac needed. Emergency evac needed. Wide. Oh, almost putting away the game there for yeah. XCG. We need Will to they see... regret that missed chance? I don't know. We need to see how much time we have. Do they even have enough time Dude. for an attack? A counter? Barely. If they get this shit up now. Yeah. They, they gotta, gotta hold it onto it. Stonehenge, past the midline. Belka puts it down for heavy command cruiser. Intercepted. No, that's God gonna be it. it. Ninety-nine percent chance to hit. HG's miracle run ends here. Bradford snake is his offsides, of course. <laughs> yeah. All right, fair enough. That's gonna be the end of the game. Two-one for XCG. Once again. What a match. Yeah, once again, despite everything, despite Ace G, uh, trying their fuck. Yeah, go ahead. I feel like we were denied this being a semifinal or even the final. Um, it's unfortunate. Yeah, it is unfortunate. Ace G tried their hearts out. They definitely tried. They had a lot of scrappy stuff going on. Their offense just couldn't really get it together too much, like. Their one shot, the one goal, was off a defender's foot. Yeah. Meanwhile, XCG uh, just were 
so dominant, like, for much of that match. Indeed. Just very clean passing, very clean defending. Like, you can't say they don't deserve this win to go on to the semi. Yeah. Oh, they did get one more shot. Yes, HG. As did XCG, actually, I think, in that last half. Maybe two. And, um... God, look at how many passes were made. 227 for XCG. Your man of the match is 99% chance to hit with a 7-5. <laughs> Salvation of the 5. <laughs> Picture it. Muton lips with a 5. <laughs> Although he wasn't the bad defender. I don't know. A. Lamau kind of got... I mean, A. Lamau's foot is what caused that goal against them. Match details, 10 minutes, 99% chance to hit from Torque. 71 minutes for your subs. 78 minute goal, trigger from Belka. 90 plus 3 sub there for ASG. 101 for XCG sub, 105 for ASG sub. 117 minutes, 99% chance to hit from emergency evac needed to take away the game and move on to the semis. Well... That's it for me. Thank you, QD. Remember, by Project Wingman. Great game. Oh, yeah. And uh, I hope a XCG uh, reached the final. Yeah, we'll see if they meet reach a third final. But thank you for commenting. See you later. Playing on both. Both playing on the same side of the pitch. Right wing for XCG, left wing for Ace Combat. Makes sense. It was all kind of on that wing. A lot of throw-ins on that side. A lot of ball winnings. Look at all those ball winnings for XCG. Holy shit. That just kind of speaks for the game there itself. Just a lot of, lot of interceptions and uh, tackles that were just so clean. XCG played a very clean game. Ace Combat were very much more scrappy this game, as they have been this entire time. And unfortunately, they couldn't get their meme magic to work again. Uh, Belka called offsides. Trigger with the wide header. Unfortunate, but HG, you made it this far yet again. Um, this isn't a five nil, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't despair at the possibility of another nosedive incoming. But you know, keep your hope alive. You know, keep this going. Maintain altitude here. Maybe even soar a little higher. But. We will be saying goodbye to them, and we will be seeing XCOM going to a semifinal once again. And could this be, yet again, them reaching a final, and maybe getting a redemption of their own, finally getting a star? We will have to see later today, but for now, we are moving on to our second quarterfinal, which is Digi versus MBG, which is another rematch... From the group stage, uh, let me see how that went real quick. It, it, yeah, right. MBG, can they repeat their success against the autopilot? Or is autopilot abuse going to activate once again and advance to fight XCG? For now, we're going to listen to the XCG victory anthem and move on. <laughs> 